The Fiat India Automobiles plant in Ranjangaon near Pune was set up through a joint investment by Fiat and Tata Motors in 2007. At the time of the joint venture, the key interest of this JV plant was the popular 1.3-litre multi-jet engine, 1.2 and 1.4-litre gasoline engines and matching transmissions. With the overall investment exceeding Rs 650 million, the plant crossed the milestone of 200,000 engines and transmissions in 2013. The plant employs more than 4,000 people. It is governed by a board of directors with equal representation from Tata Motors and Fiat Chrysler Automobiles. Today, this production plant is rated as one of the top ones by FCA in its global network. This silver rated plant is currently a few points short of being gold rated and it will go for it in 2022. The plant today produces the Tata Nexon, which incidentally is India's first 5-star rated car by Safety Watchdog Global New Car Assessment Program or Global NCAP. And it also produces the Jeep Compass SUV. In February this year, the plant stopped producing cars under the Fiat brand. Two new Jeep models are expected from this plant in Ranjangaon by 2022. Speaking to Ravi Gogia, President Fiat India Automobiles, we found out that the plant has a single line which produces both the Nexon and the Compass. The workstations are set up in such a sequence that the operators do not experience any fatigue. This is how they ensure consistent production quality on the assembly line. The car starts taking shape from here. Based on the car that is being built, the kits are being procured. The lineup is arranged in a way that the fitting materials stay comfortably close to the associate while fitting the parts. The height of the car can also be adjusted for the optimum operating position. The plant also makes sure to be a part of its employees' lives by celebrating their achievements and milestones. Today's cars have more mechatronics and the number of electronic components in these cars would also increase. Due to these advancements in technology, the people involved in their manufacturing would also have to keep upgrading their skill sets. What I definitely think is that the manufacturing will become even more flexible. Yeah? And uh, the way that we do models, in the way that we have to address to the speed of the market. And I think the manufacturing as per se of automotive is going to adapt itself and adopt new practices which will make it very flexible. Ravi explains that the Ranjangaon plant has a flexible manufacturing process that could match the fast changing trends of today's auto industry. The kind of electronics and the features that we see in today's cars require new set of skill sets for its fitment and inspection and the Ranjangaon plant seems to be catering to those needs. Those things of the past that we make a particular way and we don't want to change that, I don't think that's going to be the solution for the future. The plant today has an annual production capacity of more than 500,000 units. It exports the Jeep Compass SUV and Tata Nixon to most of the right-hand drive countries like Australia, the UK and Japan.